Thanks very much. Uh, welcome. Welcome to this presentation. Really excited for this, by the way. And uh, I know I've been messaging many of you guys about this and uh, really excited to have our special guest with us today. I'll introduce one here in a minute and uh, people are still joining. So we are going to get started here. And um, you're really going to love this. I, I um, have known this person. I'll talk about this in a moment, but we've been friends for a while now. And uh, his name is Juan Villaverde. So welcome to Market Timing Secrets. And then for crypto specifically, because most of you are probably here because you're interested in the crypto markets. And uh, wow, look at this rally. We've got uh, up 2,500 just a second ago. Bitcoin was up 1,800. There's massive uh, kind of surge going on. And um, so um, that's interesting, right? So, but we're here to talk about market cycles and uh, you're going to find this fascinating as well. And so without further ado, I'm going to dive into this. Um, my name is Brett Fogel. If you don't know me, I'm the co-founder of Moonstream Crypto. And most of you are coming from uh, our uh, email list. So, um, and so I won't do a long introduction. There you go. But today's agenda. So what we're going to talk about is uh, what are market cycles and uh, for, for one thing, don't be bored with this topic. This is fascinating, and this may be the holy grail when we layer it in with everything else that we're doing. And uh, one person uh, that we let see this early, exactly what he said, and I'll share that at the end. So, you know, if you're not familiar with market cycles, we'll talk about what those are, demonstrate why they are so important, and um, show you really how you can use them correctly. And um, that's one thing that I want to emphasize because Juan and I have been talking about a few people that are using cycles and uh, he's pointing out because he's really a, a master of this how they're using them incorrectly so you don't want to be using these and um, learning about them but the wrong way uh, and i'll let juan talk about you know his uh, where he learned these and how he's gone deep and becoming a master of market cycles and which is why i wanted to have him on with everybody especially right now. Uh, and this is a little quote for him, basically from him saying, I could not believe it could be so simple, but it was. And that was just on our conversations. One, I grabbed that, turned it into a, a quote or a uh, one -ism because I think that sums it up. It, they are very simple to use almost to the point that you don't believe that they can actually work. And um, it's fascinating. Once you see it, you can't unsee it, but wouldn't it be great if you could tell on a timing basis when markets and tops and bottoms are most likely to occur. And uh, that's something Juan is going to talk about these uh, cycles and these uh, cycles within cycles. And uh, so stick with me. Uh, we're about to um, dive right in and really reveal how you can incorporate that today. Uh, wow, alerts going off all over the place and um, <laughs> picked a hell of a time for the markets to rally. Quick disclaimer, by the way, um, none of this is financial advice. And uh, most people don't make money trading because off, because really they don't have access to tools like these that we're sharing with you today. So um, if nothing else, you're going to leave today with a much better understanding of market cycles and how to trade with them. And notice I said with them, it's not the holy grail. It's putting all of these things together, but that is really the key, isn't it? The puzzle, you need to have all the pieces of the puzzle in the right places. And uh, we are continually on the hunt for those and how to do that. So, and then how you, of course, you can make more money using trading cycles and market cycles. And um, I'm excited about this, really, you guys, um, because I've been watching this and uh, for some time, and um, I'll tell you how this sort of started in a moment on the next slide coming up. But the big promise we have today is you'll discover repeatable cycle patterns for trading, not just crypto for stocks, gold, other things. You know, some of you do dabble in these other markets. And uh, that's the, the great thing is that it works in all financial markets. And uh, with a high degree of accuracy, finding tops and bottoms. And uh, Juan's going to share some examples of that. So it's going to really sink in that, hey, this is real and uh, how you can potentially uh, profit from these moves yourself. So sound fair enough? Great. So um, this is what I just added to, by the way, um, I was just chatting with Juan and he said, the strategy I teach and will show today produced 100% winning trades since the bear market low of November of 2022. And so how many of you are interested in hearing about that? So we do like to keep things interactive. So uh, we, you know, we have the chat up here. So feel free to um, chime in. Rick saying that's because Juan is so damn smart. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Rick. Uh, we will take Q&A at the end, by the way. So if you have questions on any of this, just because uh, Juan probably is going to answer many of the questions during his uh, presentation and training here. 
So just write those down and we'll stick around at the end to answer your questions. Um, let's see. So um, I'd like to introduce to you uh, at this point to Juan Villaverde. Now, um, I met Juan at the Bitcoin conference last year and uh, was with Max Wright. And, uh, you know, many of you know Max, so that um, we were all hanging out at the Bitcoin conference and having a chat. And uh, we were having some tacos down in Miami Beach and uh, started talking about cycle theory with Juan. And right away, I could tell he really knew what he was talking about. And immediately I was interested uh, because just in simple terms, imagine if we could overlay the timing of when a cycle or a bottom should come with our amazing indicators and also the spidey sense and regular TA that we do. But overlaying those two would be the holy grail. And um, I think that we're very close, um, you know, using that that term sort of tongue in cheek, right? There's no one button one single thing that's going to win all the time but it's our job is to be like Sherlock Holmes and find as many clues as we can and have an edge and even with a slight edge you can really win in these markets so um you can read this here I won't read all of it word for word but one is uh, a pro trader and um, he's been um, using mathematical algorithms on Bitcoin and made the discovery that the cyclical patterns in the Bitcoin market uh, were more regular and predictable than in most stock or bond markets. So that's good for us, right? So he's taking some research from the, and I'll let Juan talk about Hearst, but sort of the originator of cycle theory, a guy that pioneered this work in the seventies and, um, it's been used quite a bit in uh, the stock and Forex and futures markets. Uh, by the way, I was on the presentation last night. Some guy started talking about it. Clearly, he did not know what he was talking about and made it very confusing. So I want to just to say that don't be intimidated by any of this. One of the reasons that I wanted to have Juan come on and talk with you is because he talks in simple terms and it talks slower and very clear. So you're going to uh, be able to understand it. So um, also a little bit of background, he is uh, the founder of Weiss Research Crypto Ratings Model and currently does a number of things over there, teaches, and um, let's see, he uses this to determine, um, he uses the cycles model to determine when to buy in this other um, product that we're not here to talk about today. So this is just by way of some background there. And I see some chats going on and uh, yeah, so uh, Freedom says, Max Juan, Brett talking cycles and charts at one time as a powerful trifecta. Thank you. Yeah, so we're all on the same page, everybody. Uh, so, um, you know, a couple quick things and I will bring one on, but I want to just kind of set the frame, you know, around the information. Most, the real problem is most investors lose money. And certainly if you're here, you've experienced this at one time or another. And our goal is to minimize that. Many people trade on emotion. And, uh, you know, so case in point, uh, Bitcoin is flying right now. And, um, you know, you could be chasing this, but, uh, you know, I think that there are other factors to consider. We actually see there's a big sell block of orders on right now, but the emotional traders watching their Coinbase and chasing the hot movers, they're going to miss out and be buying at the top when sophisticated and experienced traders are selling into that. So that's just a, an analogy I think everyone can relate to. But uh, most traders don't use a trading plan. It's just kind of wake up in the morning, see what's happening, how you're feeling. And um, that's that's not a way that you're going to survive long term. You need to have a trading plan. And also, most people are not using cycles. And so uh, and, and we're not using them the right way. And this is somewhat new for us to talk about. But we're definitely incorporating this in a much bigger way into what we do here at Moonstream. And so the reason that most crypto traders fail, though, is these these reasons above. So if that uh, makes sense, then we can dive in. And I'd like to go ahead and hand it over to Juan here and, and just let him say a quick hello and uh, and then uh, let him share his screen because he's got some amazing stuff to share with you. And then I have some more things to share with you at the end. So stick around. We will try to get through it quickly. Uh, we know uh, everyone's busy and uh, it's Friday. So I uh, appreciate you being here, but um, you're going to love it. So uh, Juan, are you with us? Brett, thanks so much for having me. Thanks everybody for attending and thank you for the amazing introduction. Um, I will add a few words about myself and about how I discovered market cycles because it goes way back to when I started uh, trading. I actually fell in love with trading during the 2008 uh, financial crisis. I was uh, studying economics. I actually dropped out of school to 
dedicate my life to trading. Everybody thought I was crazy, especially my parents. Um, started taking every course I could get my hands on in trading. I've, I've, I've loved it ever since. It's been, what, 15 years now? I haven't regretted a sing for a single moment of my life. I remember I had a job back then. I used to skip a few, you know, just just to get away for a few minutes just to look at charts. And my manager was saying, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, you don't understand. This is what I'm going to do uh, for the rest of my life. So I don't care what you think. Um, so anyways, I started taking courses. My first course, Brett, you and I were chatting about this yesterday. It was uh, Fibonacci. You mentioned the name of the course. I, I can't remember it. it was Fibonacci you know. Secrets, uh, 20 years there ago. There you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fibonacci Secrets. I loved it. I thought it was very interesting. Um, I started diving deeper and deeper. Eventually, I found Elliott Wave, which actually this presentation, I'm going to start with that. Uh, because for me, it was uh, a wake up moment. It was like, oh, this is interesting. What do I mean? Patterns, fractals, waves. I just found it very interesting. Now, I read both of Elliott's books. I found it lacking for lack of a better word, I started, I remember thinking, okay, I'm gonna do Elliott Wave for the stock market. Perfect, it worked. I moved on to the bond market and it made no sense. I was like, I, I can't possibly do Elliott Wave on this. I signed up for the Elliott Wave newsletter. I think it's Bob Prechter, I think that's the name. Um, and they were not really using Elliott. I came to conclude very quickly. I'm like, okay, you guys are great. You, you're great technical analysts. Yeah. You're not using Elliott much. Um, so then I kept looking. Found Gan. Gan is a big cycles guy from the early 20th century. Lost his money a bunch of times due to brokerage fires and whatever. Interesting character, too. Um, he talked about cycles. The problem is, uh, all along, I had this issue where a lot of people talked about cycles, but it was this abstract concept, and I could never really tell what do they mean. So they talk war cycles, cycles in the economy, the business cycle. I'm sure you've had heard people say there's a business cycle, um, liquidity cycle, all these cycles, but what is a cycle? And I could just could not um, point to what it was. Um, so then I discovered Hearst. Um, th this is years after 2009. I eventually, uh, through a colleague of mine, I find out uh, about Hearst. And Hearst really put it together for the first time for me. He wrote a 1,200-page manuscript called the Cyclitech cycles course i think it has a bad name along those lines they sold like 800 copies in the 70s and then first vanished eventually from the scene um i what i heard is that he was hired by a group of investors to study market cycles first was um and i could be wrong here on the details but i believe he was an engineer he worked in world war ii or the korean war to decipher patterns out of noise so he was hired by a group of investors to look at the noise that was the stock market, apparently, and to get a signal from that noise, to see if there was a pattern that he could find. And he did. And this is what I teach in the course, and this is what I'm going to uh, show you guys today. But when I discovered Hearst, it's not only the 1,200 pages, by the way, it's also like 10 hours of audio tapes. Um, very cool sounding. It sounds like you're in a movie when you're taking this course, because it's all from the 70s. <laughs> so. Um, so I started reading, he starts uh, laying out principles for cycle trading, which you're going to learn in the course. I'm not going to go over them here because it's too much theory. So he starts with the theory. I like that. I've always been a data-driven guy. So I'm like, oh, good theory. So you're going to explain what a cycle is. You're, you're starting with the most fundamental question that I had all these years. What is a cycle? What is a market cycle? How do I, how do I see it? How do I find it on a chart? He starts from there. From that, from that point, he develops a whole theory of indicators and different trading strategies to how you can apply the principles of cycle trading to your own trading. He has, um, he claims 90% accuracy in his trading strategies. And I'm here to say that's real. You can have 90% accurate trading strategies. Not, can I just chime in, interject sure. one, because uh, I, you know, that's great to know about Hearst. I think he's, uh, he's no longer really around. And so I think to oh. set a frame around it, like how did you, so that was your origin and you've taken it uh, a step further and really dove into this. Uh, and yeah. um, that's what we want to talk about today. So, um, and real quick, I had a comment in there. Somebody saying I lost so much money to use the paid Elliott waves uh, system. You, you know, I, I also, 
also at Moonstream, we keep things very simple, especially in our active trader classes. We don't go into a lot of these uh, Elliott waves and Fibonacci spirals and all these crazy things. Uh, yeah. If you've ever seen one of those charts, simplicity, I think, is best. And that's what I love about what um, you're going to be talking about. So why don't we dive in? And, um, you know, that was your origin story. So what have you done with it since? And uh, why don't we dive in? Uh, you can share your screen at any time you'd like, sure. by the way. Let's go. Okay. okay, I'll start sharing now. Uh, so that means I'll block you, right? Um, there we go. Okay, so let's begin. Let's just put you guys up there. All right, so what is a market cycle? So a market cycle is basically the, I call it, and I've been thinking about this all morning, it's a fundamental building block of price action. And let me show you what I mean. And yes, I'm going to go with Elliott Wave at first because it is, it is where most cycle uh, analysts begin, I believe. So market cycle is basically a move that starts with a low, it moves up to a high, and then it ends with another low. And that is a market cycle. It's waves zero, one, two here. Every cycle is made up of this. It's a rally component. It's the first wave that peaks into a high, then it moves down in a correct in a corrective fashion, and it ends with another low. So you have two lows, one high for every cycle. And we can keep doing this. And this, by the way, I'm highlighting this is Bitcoin 2023 since the bear market low, and I'm highlighting the most important, what I believe to be the most important cycle in Bitcoin, which is the 80-day cycle. I'm going to go through that in just a minute. Um, and it is, well, there we go. It is the Elliott wave pattern. It's waves one through five, then the corrective ABC. In Hearst, it doesn't have to be a corrective pattern. And you can see here that I've drawn four of these cycles. It starts with a low, peaks at a high, ends with another low. I've done four of these. And if you look at this structure, there is another cycle that just formed. And that's what Elliot used to teach as well. You have cycles within cycles or wheels within wheels. So every one of these measured moves here, every one of these is an 80 day cycle. 80 days, it's the average duration. It doesn't have to be exactly 80 days. Um, but then if you put these four together, we have another cycle, a bigger cycle. This one, this one is a 240 day wave. Although in this case, it lasted 300 days. I go into that in the course, no need to bother with this now. Now, this is what a cycle is. This is the fundamental building block of price action. And the important thing here is that there are cycles within cycles. I can break, out, break down these waves further into 20 day cycles. I can break those down into five day cycles so on and so forth. I can look at an hourly chart, five minute chart. I'll continue to find these cycles that are, they add up to form larger and larger and larger waves. I found about four cycles that are the most prominent in crypto. I can break those down for you. It's a 20 day cycle. These are average durations. That's followed by an 80 day cycle. That's what you're seeing on the screen highlighted. Then from there, you go into a 240 day cycle. So you add up three of those 80 day cycles. You have a 240 day cycle. Two of those is a 16 month cycle over 180 days. And then finally, we end up with a grand three of those 16 month cycles create the large four year cycle on crypto that most people are aware of. They think it's because of the uh, having or liquidity or the Fed. Fact of the matter is, most asset classes have about a four year cycle, though in traditional assets, it's more about four and a half years. But it's the same wave. And that's one of the things that Hearst taught. It's that uh, the same waves, the same cycles are present in all markets. So this is a market cycle. But here's where it gets interesting for me. There are tools to make find these cycles easily because as a cycles analyst, what you really want to do is find them easily at a glance. You don't have to do, most people count time. They use complex indicators. Brett and I were going through a bunch of indicators yesterday on the screen. And I was like, no, 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 that's just trash. It's too complicated. I get lost. I don't know what he's talking about. And in fact, this model uses something called filters, which is a moving average. You move it backwards in time. And that's how you find cycles. It's just a moving average. You just have to find the right setting for the moving to clarify, average. To clarify, and sorry to interrupt, but just to clarify, we were pulling up to see what other, what cycle indicators are out there. And that's what Juan is saying. Most of them were uh, trash and uh, that's Too unfortunate. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to, not to get ahead of ourselves, it's not a topic for today, but we're discussing how to program this into an indicator later. But the point is, there really isn't one that uh, it does it the right way. And so anyway, I thought I'd just overlay um, that on there. And, 
And yet, for cycle trading, you, we may need something more complicated. But for finding cycles in the past, we don't need anything complicated at all. And just have it right here. Let me pull it up. It's this moving average. This moving average, which I'm going to make a little bigger because I don't see it very well. Uh, there we go. Boom. Let's blow it out. There you go. This blue wave, if you can see, if you compare it to the black lines, it is kind of highlighting the cycle that I just talked about, isn't it? And the way you get this moving average is quite simple. You just divide the cycle, average cycle duration by four, and then you displace that backwards by half of that. So in this case, it's a, an 80-day cycle. So what I need is a 20-day moving average, and I move it backwards by 10 days, so half the period of the moving average. The reason I'm doing that is because I want the moving average to fit the price action. I don't know if you've noticed, most moving averages, they don't fit the price action. They're actually somewhat off. If you will, if I take off the offset here, you're going to see what I'm talking about. This is a classic 20-day moving average. Doesn't mean much. Sorry, I didn't actually. Boom. Zero. There you go. So it's it doesn't fit the price action exactly. When you move it backwards by half the period, this is all part of the course, by the way, that I first taught years ago. But when you move it backwards by half the period, for those who want to know, technically it's called a centered moving average because it's it fits the data perfectly. And this, the up and down moves in this moving average, they are the 80-day cycle. They reveal the 80-day cycle for you. If I just hide the price action here, what I'm left with is a line that shows me where the cycle is. So step number one in this model makes it very easy to find cycles. I see, I still see a lot of people out there struggling. Oh, where is the cycle? And they speculate. I even saw, there's a guy I love on YouTube, he's Camel, Camel Finance. He kind of jumped the gun a little bit a few weeks ago. He said, oh, here, here's a low, here's a low, we have the low. And Brett asked me what I thought about it. And I thought, I said to him, he's jumping the gun a little bit because the indicator that I have does not tell me that we have a low. So I'm not sure where he's coming from. There's no evidence for the slow. And most people here are familiar with the... With Camel, yeah, we we introduced. I think I told you about Camel also, one, but uh, most of you. Uh, yeah, I introduced him to him. Super fun guy. I love listening to him. By the way, I love him. Like, he's great. I listen to him every day. But I thought he was just, and he was because this was right after, right before the crash uh, to fifty two thousand on Bitcoin. And I, and I thought to myself, see, because there's no evidence for this, for this low yet. You need to wait for the indicator. To me, this is the indicator. This indicator is best for past cycles. I'm not going to go into why that's important. You need to take the course for that. But it is important to know where the past cycles are, because if you want to project them into the future. But if I just take out the price action, I look at the filter. This is called the filter. This is how I, we find cycles in the model that I use. It's very simple. You just go, these little wheels here, you can ignore. They, can, they need to go down a little bit. And that's where they are. And I have an entire computer model that I that I use at Wise, that it just does this. It just looks at filters and then it goes, finds the cycle, then it fits them into the price section. Pretty simple. So finding cycles, it's actually very easy. All you need to do is use a moving average. Most people overthink that. You take the duration of the cycle, you divide it by four, you move that backwards by half of that, and you have a filter that reveals the cycle for you. Can it be that simple? Absolutely. It gets even simpler because this, 80-day cycle that I'm highlighting here, it turns out the breakouts on that cycle, breaking the high on that cycle, I said 100% accuracy, this is what I mean. Those breakouts on the 80-day cycle that you find using a moving average, there is about historically an 86% chance you're going to have a profitable trade if you just buy that breakout, which you find with a single moving average. It is that simple which is always what drives me nuts. It's like, this is so simple. It not, it's uh, One of my trading mentors once said to me, it is simple. It's not easy. It may not be easy to follow these rules, but it is simple. You don't have to overthink it. Use a filter. The filter will reveal to you where the cycles are. Mark them on the chart. I used to do this when I was, uh, when I was a beginner. I used to mark where they were. Just for reference, I used to do a lot of this. I teach this in the course. I go, you just... You need to put the arrows where the cycles are. Eventually, you just look at the price action. At this point, I don't need to use a filter. I know what the filter is going to say. I look at the price action. That's good enough for me. But let's take this a step further. 
this is the problem with this moving average. And that is that, I don't know if you notice, it is displaced backwards. So it's not a real time indicator. If I zoom into the present, I don't know where the indicator is at present. Now, in this case, with the 20 uh, day moving average, and with a rally as strong as what we've seen lately, this is obviously going to be confirmed as an 80-day cycle low by, the, by this indicator. But this indicator lags the price action. Not only that, it has one major drawback, if you will. It's not really a drawback, but the entries are late because you're buying these breakouts of the 80-day cycle high. And that's it's a profitable trade, but it's kind of a late entry. I, want, I like to get in earlier. And for that, we use another tool in this uh, cycles model, which is called a future line of demarcation. It's called an FLD. And this time, it's a, we take the same moving average, we move it forwards in time by half the duration of the cycle. Again, I don't want to go too fast. It's all in the course, but I just want to walk away with something useful here. So what we do with this indicator that I have here, this moving average, which lags the price action, I need to use it in real time. So I need to bring it forward using a technique called the future line of demarcation. So what we do is simply, we take the moving average, not, not this, the moving average. There we go. We take the moving average and we displace it forward by half the duration of the cycle. I just said it's an 80 day cycle. Half the duration, 40 days. 40 plus minus 10, 30. So boom, I bring it forward and there you go. Now this is a mirror image of the 80 day cycle. By mirror image, I mean, when this indicator is peaking, the market should be bottoming. Now you tell me if it's working or not, because this is what it says. It says to expect a low on July 8th. That is almost the exact date you had the low. It doesn't usually work that way, but these are the forecasts for lows based on this indicator and highs. It's kind of close. It's a good reference to have. It tells you when to expect the turning point, but that's not the useful part. To me, the most useful part is because this is a mirror image of a cycle, crossing both sides of this moving average, or FLD as it's called, it tells you where the 80-day cycle low is. And so if I go back to the beginning, here in November of 2022, the bear market low, using this FLD, if I just buy those breakouts, there's this one time where I would not really use it because we're just coming out of a bear market low because the buy signal is down there. I want to buy it here because I would wait for an actual breakout of the 88 day cycle top. I get into this in the course, why that's important. So I would really buy it here. But from that moment on, now, now that we have a bullish 80 day cycle, we broke a cycle top. Every time the market dips below this moving average and it goes back above, that's a buy signal. You get a buy signal right here. There you go. You have a buy signal right here. There's another one here, another one here. I did say 100% profitability. All of these trades work. Catch is, there's not that many. There's about four or five trades since the November 2022 low. They all worked. Right now, this is leads, to, leads us to the present. This is the last time I bought Bitcoin. It was right there. It was actually before the breakout, but we sold my service, we sold it around here. We broke even on this one. There you go. There's more, obviously, and I don't know if we have time to get into why you would avoid these entries here. You would avoid this entry here, and we would avoid this entry here because there's a larger cycle that's stopping out. The only thing we use is we apply the same technique that I just showed you. We use the same moving average, different period, which tracks a longer wave that lasts about 16 months. It's about between eight and 16 months. And that was topping out in July of 2023. So we would not really buy this. You would avoid this. And we would also avoid this because a larger correction is coming. So that's what I call market awareness. It's great to trade an 80 day cycle. I just showed you it's an extremely profitable strategy. It's a very simple strategy. It uses one moving average and that's it. That doesn't give you the confidence probably to act on this. You need to have all the research behind it. I have, I've studied this 80 day wave. So all I need is to look at the moving average, but it is that simple. However, if you want to enhance your profitability even further, you can use, I'm just gonna demonstrate it real quick here. You can use this black line 
which tracks the 16 month wave. And since it is our mirror image, the fact that it's making a bottom here tells you to expect a top, big top, lasting many months. And the same thing is true here. So you can't well, really could, see it, but. Could, could I want to interrupt? So this, is, this is amazing. Um, it's also brand new for everybody. Uh, yeah. So with the. Yeah, um, tell me if I'm going too fast. <clears throat> well, I, I want to, and by the way, yeah, just to, just to address it up front, you guys, Juan is, keeps mentioning a course. Uh, he does have a course, and uh, we're here to teach you about cycle theory, and uh, we'll tell you about the course at the end. So I don't want you guys thinking like, oh, here it comes. There's a big sale. I want wanted to put this on your radar and really have you learn something here today. And if, for those of you who might want to go deeper in it, uh, we'll talk about a, a way to do that. But um, I just like to get that out front because a lot of these presentations, you're thinking the whole time, OK, what are they selling at the end? Um, and and th that's that's the deal. But um, I want to make sure that you guys learn this and are aware of it and maybe can implement it and ideally use it. So so with the uh, the, the 40, the 80 day cycle. That makes sense. The the negative offset, the forward offset, sort of using the inverse. So I think I'm following there. The black line here. You, this is um, it's a 180 day. Looks like so, like a six month cycle. Is that right? The black line. This is this is the 16 month cycle, which is about 480 days. You have to divide it by four. That's 120 days, and then you displace that forward by 1.5 times the period of the moving average to displace it forward. Again, the math is complicated. Hearst was an engineer. The, the okay. book is filled with charts and analysis and data. I'm just distilling it all down to actionable stuff. This moving average, this 30 day, this 20 day moving average displaced forward by 30 days is one of the most powerful tools that I have on my toolkit, I've been using it for years to trade very successfully. It just showed you how all of these either breakouts of the 80-day cycle top or crossovers of this moving average produced profitable trades. By the way, the stop loss should always be below the last 80-day cycle low, which Bitcoin has not violated until recently when Camel came out and said, oh, that's the low. And then boom, it violated the 80-day cycle low, which is right here. That's your stop loss. So the Before question... Then, yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, oh, the question, because I'm with you guys. This is all new to me for the most part. I, I've looked at some of this. So the question on everyone's mind is, how can we use this for catching the, the next cycle bottom? Uh, did we have it? Is it coming? I know we've talked about, is it July? Is it August? So oh, Brad, how do we don't talk about that for a bit. Oh, okay, so let's break it down. What did I just say? Break, moving, crossing both sides of this moving average. That's what confirms a cycle bottom using this indicator. There's other indicators you can use, but this one is, in my opinion, the best or one of the best. Right there, that confirms the bottom. So how do we confirm the bottom in the present? We just crossed it down. Now we're waiting for the market to cross it to the upside again. That confirms the bottom. We're just about to cross above it. That would be a buy signal, but I will caution everybody because I don't want anybody to walk away from this thinking, oh, Juan told me to buy, it didn't break out. I would caution that buying this particular 80 day cycle bottom confirmation, that's what this is, could be premature. The reason for that is you have the last two 80 day cycle tops, and I'm going to move this backwards so that you can see where the tops are. There you go. Move this backwards, turn it into a filter. You can see where the tops are. Here's the top, here's the top. It's a lower high on the 80 day cycle. Not only that, look at the lows. We have lower lows on the 80 day cycle. It's very unusual. And I said this to my clients yesterday, shot a video saying, guys, it's very unusual for the market to break below the last 80 day cycle low and within the same cycle, break above the last high. Now, this is a very headline driven market. I would not be surprised to see it, but I would caution that buying when it breaks this 20 day moving average displaced by 30 days, it could be premature because Bitcoin could, based on historical patterns, just bounce off this line, come right back down. And that's because March was a 16 month cycle top. And these tend to take a while to end. And so I don't, I personally don't like to jump ahead of that. I'm waiting for this trend line breakout. Uh, this is an, a trend line, this is called a valid trend line. It connects cycle tops and cycle bottoms. Sure. Don't have time to demonstrate that today. I think this moving average is pretty good as is. 
and that's that fits very much in line with what we're teaching in the M3 Active Trader. But but yeah, our, I saw you have it. You have this trend line the, too. Right? It, the, the same trend line. It, the breakouts usually happen on the third or fifth attempt. And so what I'm trying to read from this, as I'm sure our viewers are, is do you think we'll break above on this fifth attempt or pull back, as you've just noted? And I'm concerned that we do do we pull back again and we don't break it. But um, but so so let's do do this. I know this because this is a bit high level for people, and uh, I'm just thinking they're probably not fully capped capturing a lot of it. So after this, maybe we can talk a little bit about the cycles within cycles, just those visuals that are in the, the course, which are so good. I, I really want people to walk away from this, understanding it better, but uh, but also with something, uh, you know, some actionable information. So um, let the cat out of the bag. You know, we've been talking a lot about it. August, late August as the cycle low. So how would that play out in your diagram here? If we reject that upper trend line, and head lower, uh, what would it look like for a late August cycle bottom? And, and what would it take to invalidate that and that we will go higher based on this? So I think what's gonna happen just based on this 80 day cycle that just bottom is probably we could see a crossover of this line confirming the low. I would not be surprised to see it. We saw it back here. We saw this breakout confirming the low. If you bought here, you just basically bought the top because it's a 16 month cycle consolidation. So I think what we could see is, I think we see on August low, but I don't think it's gonna be the low. I think the low was early July. What I think happens, and let me just draw it with an ABC line. It happens, it should happen sometime around here. Let's say we got a late July top. We got another low. I think it's gonna be a, a, a double bottom to the May low. So it, it would describe a head and shoulders pattern. And after that August low, which I actually put it in September, didn't mean to. Let me move this into August. Here we go. So something like this is what I'm thinking could happen simply because, like I said, it's unusual for markets to break a cycle low and then break the cycle top. It's, I don't think that's ever happened actually in Bitcoin. Now, this bull market is full of firsts. It's full of never happened before. So maybe we see it for the first time ever. I just don't like as a cycles analyst to bet on patterns that never happen. That's, I have a problem with that. That's why I told you, Brett, that I'm not into this imminent breakout theory that a lot of people are calling for. They're saying, oh, it's going to break up right now. It's going to 100K in September, guys. I'm like, yeah, I don't think so. Because it would break, it would make this weird pattern of lower lows and higher highs, which you, you just never see. I used to be a day trader. You see it a lot on intraday charts. You don't see it on daily charts or weekly charts. Very unusual. So I think we have another low to go before the bottom is in, just based on how this particular 80-day cycle usually plays out. It's very regular. It's very predictable. That's why buying the breakouts works so well, because when it breaks the high, it, it just goes. 85% of the time, it goes. So interesting. I, and I wish I wish I had learned this uh, sooner because, you know, typically and I've been trading 25 years and noticed along the way, usually the third or fifth attempt happens. But not knowing the timing of that um, makes it a much harder mm, sort of prediction. So what you're showing here makes a lot of sense. Kind of what I'm feeling also is that uh, we have another pullback, but ideally not a lower low. We want to put in a higher low to be yeah. able to bounce off that to break the to all time high. You know, and at these inflection points, there's certainly a lot of uh, market, um, we won't call it manipulation, but this is how the market makers, which are advanced AIs these days, you know, they're trying to wipe out the leverage longs and then the shorts, and then they clear out all, they flush out all the leverage, and then they let it go in the direction. So that's why this is tricky, a precarious time. But this uh, this is fascinating. And uh, kind of I see how you're now looking at later in August. And, you know, it fits many of the narratives, the big traders in Wall Street, because basically Bitcoin is a Wall Street product now with the ETFs. Uh, you know, they're all off in the Hamptons, sipping my ties around the pool uh, until they come back in September. Um, it is interesting. Uh, we were we we're this Trump pump here that uh, apparently is happening as we speak. Yeah. Um, Although there's some headlines that uh, part of this is the Mt. Gox creditors are saying that they're not going to dump all their coins. So we're seeing an interesting pump here, but I, you know, it's a sell block. I would, I would say probably we see some profit taking here and um, we're kind of close to your A top. And so I, I don't know, I'm excited because now I can finally overlay uh, a timing 
um, element over everything else that we have that uh, we've learned over the years. So, um, well, did you have much more to share? Because I think I'm, what I might want to do is just kind of kind of share some of what this is about. And um, and there's a couple of visuals that show sort of the simple parts of this, the cycles within cycles. But uh, if you've got something that you want to something else you want to share without um, giving everyone a brain hernia, let's do that. And then uh, then I'll jump back over to, to the other thing I want to show. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, this is I'm done here. What the main takeaway is use this moving average, especially when trading crypto. Now, this doesn't work on TradFi, so don't try this on gold. This works on crypto. 20 day moving average. You move that forward using the offset tool uh, by 30 days, which is one and a half times the period of the moving average. And watch that as it plays out with the price action, because it will tell you where the cycles are. And if you want to find the cycles in the past, just take the same 20 day moving average, move it backwards by 10 days. And then that gives you the 80 day cycle. And I didn't have time to do it here, but you can actually, it's really an 80 day cycle. The, the average since 2022, I, I believe is like 70, 82 days, I think. Using this moving average, just marking where the highs and lows are, just to prove to everybody, you can do it yourselves at home. You can see it It does highlight exactly the 80-day cycle. This is actually driven by math. It's all math, filters. It's science, guys. How, how long uh, would I'm it, just not making this up. <laughs> how long would it take to, to describe that uh, and show people? Um, and, oh, and, we can do it right here. Look at yeah, this. Let's do that. Uh, let's can do you, first, first of all, can you redraw the blue line? I want everyone to get value out of this. The blue line, um, again, it was a, it was a uh, 20 day moving average, and then you offset it by 10 to see the past either backwards or forwards. Yeah, that's it. If you that's, move it forwards, it's a mirror image. And if you move it backwards, it's the actual cycle. That's, that, that's a simple moving average. So I got that. And then the black line was uh, at 120, it looks like. But just look at 120 and 180 is to move it forwards. It would be minus 60 if you want to, if you want it to fit the price action. I want to focus on this one though, because the other one, the 16 month, you have to be I mean, a bit more knowledgeable in how the whole thing works. And you don't need it, honestly. You can trade okay. without it. The simplest way people could use this, walking away from today without getting too complicated, sounds like the uh, the 20 um, the EMA, 20. SMA, as yeah. you've shown. So you can do it uh, minus 10 to show kind of, so it's not a, the moving average is a lagging indicator. So by doing minus 10, you sort of overlay it with the actual price action. And then you can Correct. also do it. So the, the way the cycle comes in is you advance it by 10. Is that, am I getting it? Yep. Okay. It's exactly right. You cool. advance it by, yeah, advance it by, it's, you advance it by 80, which is half the duration. It comes out to 30 because you start from minus 10. You take the filter, you add 40, you get to 30. I know it's complicated. Uh, there's actually a lot of math that goes behind that. I'm just giving you the headlines. Yeah, That's we're not going to do math here today. It's everybody. No, no. That's not the idea. It makes it too complicated. I spent years studying this stuff and then i realized hey it's actually so simple it's just a moving average okay that's it, what it comes down to <laughs> so but i i think that's a good segue actually because um you know trying to absorb too much of this at one time might be difficult and um i want to just make sure we're looking good on time here because you know when people yeah why don't we switch back over because i think at this point people are probably wondering um this is great how can i learn more about it and uh, i want to show you how that uh, you can uh, you can do that um, as well by showing you maybe jumping into the course a little bit to give you that uh, context so there's one more thing here. it's the average duration based on what we just did here it's 86.8 days just you just saw it here that's how you find an 80-day cycle you use a moving average that's it got it Clear as mud. No, it, it does make sense. I think the biggest thing is that um, this is not something fully explainable in an hour. And um, so stay with me, though. I want to I'm going to go into the course. The team has been hard at work at uh, creating all of this and building out the format from the video trainings, which um, we are co-releasing with one called Market Cycle Secrets. And uh, my goal here is to clarify some of what he just shared so that uh, you guys are able to 
um, have a better idea of what it's all about. So um, Juan had shared, he's been doing, working on this for, I don't know, probably a year. And I have to say the videos are excellent. And so we've created this area, a membership area, so that uh, somebody can start out from a beginning um, level from today and really learn this at uh, not a sales pace, but at, at your own pace. Some of you will pick it up quicker and some may pick it up slower and that's okay. My big, what I would like to share is this is very much something everybody should have and learn no matter how long it takes. And so um, we do have a course we put together with one. We're helping to roll this out. And I want to tell you a little bit about it. And uh, and before we kind of go too deep into it or after I get through this part, I'm going to log in and just show you because um, part of part of the reason it's good. This is new to me also is I'm like, all right, I kind of get it, but I'm not fully getting it. How do I learn more? And so if that's you, that would be what I want to you're going to pay attention to here. And then I'm going to actually log in and show you. Uh, how uh, simple he's created this. So here's a slide from inside of the course on what is a market cycle here, the theoretical isolated cycle. Um, don't worry about the big fancy words. Uh, there are nine modules and I found it uh, very well done and animated and easy to follow and, and absorb to a point where I'm like, okay, I get it. And I know this was a bit fast today. It's our first time doing this. And so, um, you know, we were trying to keep it at everyone's level. So, um, but there are nine modules in this course inside of this area. So you can see that over on the left, modules one through nine, and they are titled, what is a market cycle? So starting out really basic, also finding market cycles. And with each module here, there's about between six and nine short videos. I wanna say there's very uh, easy to absorb. This isn't 20, 30 hours of education. Uh, they're very concise, and I like that. Using VTLs and FLDs, uh, thanks for uh, mentioning what those are. What does that stand for again, Juan? VLTs. So, so VTL is a valid trend line. Is the line that I had on top of the highs. Oh, I mentioned the several retests and the FLD is what I demonstrated. The uh, uh, moving average that you move forward by thirty forward. days. Yeah. that's an FLD. FLD. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. And then Hearst's nominal model. All of this is based on Hearst's uh, his research back in the seventies. A lot. This is widely used in futures and all of the bigger markets. But uh, Juan has figured out how to make it work for crypto. And uh, that's what is described in the course with lots of examples and also uh, monthly and yearly cycles. Uh, these are these titles are the short versions. I'll show you there's a lot more in each one and talking about weekly and monthly cycles. One had alluded to that, why you would, you know, and, and certainly in our trainings too, um, one of the common questions is, well, what if this looks one way on a daily and different on a weekly or a monthly? And that's those are always good questions. My always says I went in doubt, zoom out. Um, always good. The longer term um, cycles and uh, time frames generally uh, take precedence over and control the shorter ones. He talks about four year cycles and examples trading the 80 day cycles that he mentioned. And then that was that black line there. And then also more examples and use cases. So as with anything, it's new to everybody at some point and uh, anything worth doing and is worth learning. So um, just taking the Machiavellian uh, side of things, uh, this is uh, how you can learn it. And uh, the ends justifies the means. So fortunately, we provided the means here in a very easy to navigate um, course and members area. What I may do here, I'm just going to kind of go off script, as they say. And uh, so jump right over to that. Can can you see uh, my browser or is it still showing the uh, blue screen, everybody? Because I can't tell. I can see it. All right. It, with the members area, is that what you see? Juan? Anybody? David says yes. Bueller? Okay, gotcha. Because sometimes it shows the other screen. So this is actually inside of the course and I'll tell you the details about it in a moment. But um, I just have to say I'm 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 very proud uh, to uh, of what you've created for one, and that we're able to release this with you because uh, I can't wait to dive in further. The first module, you know, water market cycles, talking about things like the principle of summation, harmonicity, synchronicity, and this is the the simple place to start, you guys. If you uh, are saying to yourself, this sounds interesting, but I don't know, I don't get it. Uh, it this is right out of the actual course. So you get these videos here that are nicely animated and very easy to understand. 
So that's, you know, when the many things confusion, the confused mind says no, and I don't want anyone to be confused. I want you to be saying, all right, I think this is great. And I think I, I can learn it. Um, and we uh, don't want to put anything else that's uh, it's hard to learn because that's that's shuts everybody down and shuts down the brain. So I think a uh, great job on all of this one. It's excellently uh, very well produced. So um, each one has this professional title slide, bringing it all together, do it yourself kind of identification. So kind of like homework. But again, these are short videos. This is a 42 minute, uh, 42 second quick um, video. The other ones are between five and eight uh, minutes. These are the things I always like to see because nobody has time for hours and hours of of some seminar, rehashed seminar from 10 years ago. Um, you know, no, uh, this is um, highly, it's very condensed, produced and and professionally done. So um, I just have to give you a kudos uh, one for this and, and just show you guys around. I mean, this uh, is the kind of course I would want to take and I'm looking forward to finishing. I've gotten through a few modules here and it's uh, it's very interesting. There are case studies uh, with crypto like Monero here and it's full camera. It's very engaging. I guess the point is uh, it's not boring. Um, you know, you'll get through it. You can speed up these videos if you want to go through it faster. And uh, I'm trying to hit on all the hot buttons for busy people and busy traders. Here's defining the VTLs that we just talked about and the FLDs. And so if any of what Juan just covered was um, complicated or confusing, uh, it, it's all covered in here. So, and again, you can make it full screen. You can do whatever you want. Uh, and again, great job on, on these uh, visuals. So, um, and, and again, all the way through the eight modules here, um, you get access to all of this. And that's all I really wanted to share. There's a big old button at the bottom, by the way, it says contact support. If you ever need any help. Uh, but uh, as they say, but wait, uh, there's more. Uh, so I'm not switching into salesman gear here. I'm just going to give you all the uh, facts. And either this makes sense or it doesn't to you. But uh, here's what it is. So that's module one. Module two, I just shared live, kind of going through the cycles. Uh, introduction to forward-looking tools. We talk about those as we just did. And so you get the idea, you know, and it's uh, it's both high, um, you know, full video and visuals and mixed with real examples and I'll show you one at the end that Juan had shared with me on Bitcoin, kind of like what he shared with you today, how it was uh, up uh, 80 to 100%. And that's the end. That's the name of the game, right? Is, uh, is this going to help you? Can it help you? And will it help you with knowing when these inflection points are likely to be? And clearly the answer is yes. Is that right? Because if we can, if we can do that, then we're way ahead of the game. So um, the course that we've put together with Juan and uh, with his content here and what you'll be familiar with here in, in any of our courses, so other courses we have, I'll just put it all up here. Uh, we have a Cycle Secrets private membership area, which I just shared with you. And we have a secret private signal group. Um, cycle, uh, cycle Secrets is what that should say. It's a private signal group chat. And I'll show you a image of that. If you're in our M3 or Retire Rich programs, you know that we're there 24 seven. Any questions you have, we'll be there to answer them. And uh, Juan will as well. He's also going to do a, a monthly uh, Ask Me Anything. And uh, if you guys are in Moonstream, you know, Mike does those every month. It's kind of a uh, monthly State of the Union. Here's what I think, what's going on in the markets. And uh, ask uh, any questions that you might have. Because really, um, you know, this is new. You might have questions. Likely we'll have questions. And either way, we'll benefit from other people's questions. So you can really cement that. And uh, also be a bonus PDF cheat sheet with some templates. And uh, and that is for the people who take the full membership. And uh, we do have a another option for you guys because, uh, you know, uh, everyone is in different places. And uh, some of you are at higher level, more serious than others. Um, and we put a $2,400 value on it just because I think it's worth that. Uh, there's no mathematical scientific formula, but we're not gonna we're not gonna charge that, especially because it's the first time that we're releasing this together. And uh, I don't think there's any bugs. I just we want to we always get feedback and improve. So all of these uh, number one is the four is the membership area by the way with the nine modules. So that's number one of what you get, and you can read that here. Just went over that. Also that signal group that we've just created is brand new. 
And everybody that members, all of you that join today, you'll get a link to join this Signal group. It's uh, very private, secure, and unhackable. We don't use Skype or any of these other ones. We use Signal for all of our services and a group chat. So you'll have access to ask any questions. And uh, also, there's great, often great um, back and forth with the other traders saying, hey, I just noticed this, or I just noticed that, or I have a question about that. You know, Juan and I will be in here helping you and the rest of the team if you have any questions along the way. So very much interactive. Nothing worse than buying a course and you're left out in the cold with not knowing what to do or not having any, any camaraderie or community. So uh, the third thing is the AMA, that monthly call that Juan is gonna do you know, in the next couple of weeks, probably. So after you get a chance to go through the course a bit, you know, we'll set up that first one. And, uh, and and I think that'd be perfectly timed, right? Because if we are heading into a likely August cycle low, guys, we could we could just nail this. And um, uh, certainly those of you that uh, have our other indicators, I think the overlap of this is phenomenal. And uh, as we'll hear later, somebody is saying is the holy grail. But uh, here's another quote from Juan here. The strategy I teach, I already mentioned that, showed today, produce, produced 100% winning trades since the bear market. And that's what we just looked at. Um, is it easy? It's not easy, but it is simple. And that's what Juan said. And that's a great quote. And and isn't it? didn't Einstein say that the genius is making the complicated simple and, and that's what you've done here I, I think it's something like that and uh and so that's why i'm so excited this is very powerful stuff and um i'm i'm gonna definitely introduce it into my own uh, trading and our teachings here but having it yourself having the cheat sheets here uh these are great um we worked with Juan on that and dressed them up uh and so they um uh, but he did all the work on them. We just made it so it's really easy to uh, to to go through and have those as a handy reference and um, nice, uh, pretty. You know, you'll be happy to have it on your desk. What I mean by that is nothing, no fun in having like a ten-page technical document that you don't want to look at. So all we did is really add in some pretty pictures. But uh, sometimes that's enough to have it, uh, you, you know, nearby so that you refer to it. Kind of like some of our other templates and cheat sheets that we uh, we make. So always have a hand, a hand that's close by as a handy reference, and um, you know that's uh, that's in there in the members area, and what you guys will get. So if all you got from this is a one trade like this, I did some back of the napkin math and just made up eighty six percent gain on Bitcoin, uh, because as we know, uh, ninety four point two percent of all statistics are made up. That's that's an old statistics joke. Um, but uh, but anyway, whether it's 80 percent or 100 percent, look at this green arrow down below where the cycle confirmed the bottom and then where the red arrow is where one was saying that the mark, the top had been in. And I don't know, I see it as around 17,000 to 29,000. So whatever the percentage is on that doesn't matter. Point is, uh, that's pretty darn good. And so um, question is, would that be worth it to you? in your trading. So here's what we have, you guys. Uh, we have two options. Let me just dive right into them. Uh, we have a one time. Now we have this, This the normal price on this because you own it. It's not, there's no duration on it. So we have lifetime is going to be 997, but we're not going to charge that. As you know, if you're in our community, we often, in fact, always discount it initially. So the early people and our beta users get a better deal. And again, we get feedback from you guys. We improve it as we go. But uh, this is going to be 997. And again, there's no time duration on that. So you own it. Uh, courses like this, I've seen go for twice that. So for 797 uh, is what we're offering today. And you own this. You get access to the membership area, private signal group. And again, there's no limit on there. We're going to continue to promote this ongoing. So we'll be building an ongoing, thriving community. Uh, for this uh, one time and uh, one time fee. Uh, there is an option here. So it's one payment of $7.97. Again, you know, if you do it monthly, that's like $70, $60 a month and for the first year, and then you own it forever. Uh, the other option is you can do three payments for $2.97, comes out to around uh, the $900, a little closer to the normal price. And, you know, we like to give you guys those options. So uh, if you're ready to go ahead and enroll on that, some of you I know are saying you can't wait to get a hold of it already. Uh, just go over to moonstream.io slash secret. And if somebody could post that, uh, Myrene, in the uh, chat there, uh, that would be clickable in the group chat. And stick around. We're going to take Q&A if you guys have any questions. And uh, so with that, uh, again, the members area, I think it came out great. 
Um, you know, a lot of things, uh, if you don't like logging into these things, then you probably won't. So here are just some of the slides uh, and uh, of these videos. And uh, as you can tell, Juan's very engaging and entertaining. And so uh, I think you're, you're really going to enjoy this. And so um, that is the uh, what we're offering here. And the real question is, what is the real cost of, of inaction and not having it? Um, just nudging you guys out there who you're like, oh, great, another thing I have to buy from these guys. Well, re I hope you realize we are giving you the tools and only the best tools that we feel can help you. There's a million things out there. And uh, and you know that as traders and investors, we're justifiably cynical and jaded by all of the crap out there and people just trying to take our get our money to sell us stuff. And um, but I know from many of the private conversations that we've had, you guys know we're not out here to do that. We're, we're here to give you the tools and the shortcuts that can help you succeed. And sure, there's a fee to this uh, because that's if we didn't charge a fee, it wouldn't be good, that good. We didn't sit around and say, what's the minimal we could possibly charge for this? Uh, we, we put together what's the best possible course that we could make and put a fair price on it. So I hope you realize that. And uh, and so um, for one payment today, $7.97, you get access to all of this one time. You don't have to renew. There's no renewal. There's no monthly. It is a one-time fee. I just go over to moonstream.io slash secret. And some of you, just to be fair to everybody, if you're on a budget, uh, we have a, a limited budget version. It's a light version, but the really the best deal is this because you get all four of those things that we mentioned. And uh, and look, what what is one bad trade? avoided cost you or benefit you i mean and uh and getting one big win or winner knowing when to get out at the top uh, that's what really we're talking about here i don't think i have to uh really explain that further you need to make that decision for yourself but here's what some people are saying uh, and these literally guys were just coming in minutes before the presentation and i was frantically copying these over um so we've given beta access to a couple of our m3 members that i knew would enjoy this so sam says here's uh, he says i've been going through your market cycles program and i just wanted to let you know that i think it's amazing uh, and the videos look great and Juan is brilliant uh he's uh, presents everything in a very straightforward and easy to understand manner i think that's important to note and um and it's easy to absorb and and really you know there's an old saying you don't understand something until you can explain it to somebody else so they understand it right so you might think you understand it if you say well explain it to that person you're like well I, you know so th this is where i think it's important that you'll be able to fully understand it to the point that you can explain it to someone else and that's really when you get it more importantly i think you guys have found the final piece of the puzzle to the ultimate crypto strategy i think you guys really have found the holy grail sam says of crypto investment strategies bravo uh, and what he means by that is overlaying this with the uh, signals that we have uh, i will just say that currently we don't have a um you know it, it's certainly it's a topic of conversation and so at some point down the line i want to get juan and joe together and uh and create a, a signal on the charts and uh, Juan's laughing because he's like, I, I I told you it's not easy. I'm like, I know, but we're going to keep at it till we figure it out um, because uh, wouldn't that be amazing to uh, add and come out together. And those of you that are in this course, will I will get beta access to that. I'm just going to go out on a limb and because we always do that. We like to reward people that invest in, in the courses. So um, uh, if that sounds exciting, that's another reason. If not, the, the only reason you might need to join and sign up for today uh, Rick says, first impressions of Juan's market timing secrets course. This is a very detailed wave pattern course that can be applied to any market. Also true. Now, Juan takes the format, makes it into an extremely effective way to teach how new concepts and concisely, concisely is the key word, get across new information. And, um, you know, new information means what? Means new decision often. Imagine you're looking at a trade and everything looks good and you're about to pull a trigger and go all in which we don't recommend, but, but, you know, if we know, well, look, we know you, that's how you guys are. You get emotional one day and you're in a good mood and you think it's, you just go all, and then the next day it's down. And, and so um, imagine if you had had another filter or a way of saying, oh yeah, no, I may, maybe I should wait as Juan was outlining what we were talking about on this next part of the rally. So uh, the graphics are excellent, obviously professionally drafted uh, and, and animated. That was very cool how you did that one. 
Uh, so most worthwhile investment for you as an individual and us collectively, IMHO. So the, that's from two of our best clients. Um, many of our other clients here from our other top courses are here watching and I know have uh, interest in this. So I won't force you guys to read more of them, but uh, that's the the earliest reviews. And, uh, and so, um, you know, and no complaints, obviously. So on a, if you're not, now, if you're on a tight budget, look, guys, we get it. Uh, it's been a brutal two years. Um, we have a light version and it doesn't include the P uh, PDF cheat sheets. It doesn't include the signal group chat. That's all. Uh, you can get it, sign up for that for four ninety seven or two payments of two ninety seven, and get access to that. But uh, really, the best deal. Uh, so again, the light version is four ninety seven, but really, uh, the best deal is uh, is the is oops the one I told you about. You know, one of my mentors early on in all of this told me that uh, and pointed out there's a person for every price and a price for every person. My mouse has disappeared, so I can't even turn this thing back on for you guys. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, we're pushing a lot of memory. You guys know what I'm talking about, though. The end slide here, the best deal is this one. and um, But it's all right on that page. So what I'll do real quick is just hop over here and show you that uh, if you go to uh, the page at moonstream.io, sorry, I'm trying to talk and use my mouse and... Um, my brain at the same time I always uh, trick you in there. So uh, the uh, moonstream.io slash market dash secrets. Uh, actually, moonstream.io slash secret is the link. Sorry, guys. First time running this. Forgive me. I'll put it in. It's right in the chat. Uh, freedom attendee. Thank you. Link to the order page, moonstream.io slash secret. And uh, that will bring up this page and you have these options. And uh, that looks like this. It'll redirect you to another at the actual page. Seven ninety seven one time payment. You save a little bit, or three payments of two ninety seven. So that would be around nine hundred dollars. So you save yourself hundred dollars. You get everything. You get the membership. No limit on this, you guys. And and look, we'll be adding things in there. Um, we still need to get a like a welcome video in there. I haven't, but the, but we're going to add stuff and resources to help you. Um, private signal chat, as I mentioned, 24-7, uh, you can you can post in there. Uh, doesn't mean we reply 24-7. Uh, one is uh, in a different time zone. Uh, but I'm on the East, East Coast time zone, so between us, uh, we'll get your questions answered right away or as soon as possible. And, of course, the uh, Ask Me Anything Live with one. Um, probably be midday or um, probably midday because he's over. Um, can I say where you're located, uh, Juan? You're over in uh, uh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Spain. He's over in Spain. So where I'm in Spain. Yeah, yeah. So uh, any and the PDF cheat sheet. So um, you guys, you have two options here. You've got the light version if you need it. Uh, that'll appear if you try to leave the page. But my recommendation is get the one time payment. Uh, save yourself a hundred dollars and uh, and get rolled right away. And get everything. So there you go. I, that covers it uh, right on time. How are we doing on time? Just a little bit over. Try to keep it to an hour. And hopefully you guys appreciate that. But certainly if you have questions, uh, we're here to uh, answer those. And I would say um, don't, uh, you know, don't leave without having your questions at least answered. Um, quick comment, though, in the chat here. Uh, Freedom says one bad trade can cost everything. If there's not enough left, left to keep trading with any more. Uh, blows up account again. Yeah, yeah, and that. Thank you for that because um, everyone's aware of the risks, but uh, you know it, it's hard sometimes when you know you get into a trade. Our confirmation bias is like, I think it's going to go higher, and then it keeps going down and down, and 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 unfortunately that happened quite a bit in the last uh, run. You know, the people that listened to me to get out of the markets in December of 2021 and January of 2022, um, were happy, but a lot of people didn't and they held through all of that. Um, and, and wow, wouldn't it have been great to have this also saying, Hey, look, the cycle is showing a top and our, our indicators are showing a top. It's like, ha it's like, you know, the wizard of Oz, it makes everything look like magic. But if you were to be a peek behind the curtain and see if you remember that movie that was, uh, you know, it wasn't really. And um, uh, that's kind of like we have we're pe we have the ability to peek behind the curtain and see what these uh, sneaky market makers and whales are doing uh, and what they're really doing. Not what they say they're doing, what they're really doing. So anyway, you guys, uh, if you have any questions, uh, let us know. Um, Juan, do you have any closing comments as well or anything else you'd like to layer in here? 
Oh, closing comments. No, don't get me going again because I'm I'm not gonna finish. Um sure. Um I guess in closing, I would say that the way cycles work have worked for me is initially I was bombarded with a lot of information. What I try to do in this course and in my because I have a version of first, what I try to do is simplify it to the point where anybody can do it. That's why. I took all the stuff I learned from Hearst, all of the math, the filters, all of the, um, he does a lot of work on something called the periodogram to find what the cycles are. I did all of that for crypto. I don't even teach it in a course because it's just math. And I think everybody finds it boring. And to me, I just wanted the simple tool that I can use to trade effectively. Uh, and what I showed uh, here if, to everybody here is one of two very powerful tools that I use. The other one is in the course, Spoiler alert, it's just trend lines. You're just connecting the highs and the lows. And those two together, it's a complete trading strategy for any crypto asset or any TradFi asset um, that you can think of. Somebody asked me if these cycles work for uh, crypto. This work for crypto. TradFi has slightly different cycles, not because the cycles that are in crypto are not on the stock market. They are there. They just don't matter as much. It has a different cycle. Uh, for everybody out there, if you trade on a traditional market, there's a 20-week cycle, which is about 100 calendar days. That's the most important one. You, you guys, if you follow it along here, you guys can figure out what the filter uh, for that is. It works just as well. This 20-week this cycle uh, it's just the equivalent to the 80-day cycle in Bitcoin. You can use it on the stock market. You can use it to nail basically every rally, every bear market. That cycle will tell you when it's happening. It tells you when it begins. It tells you when it ends. It allows you to trade it very effectively. So Look I at just this. wanted to. Then this is gold one. Um and uh, we'll we'll get some more of the questions answered. But look, if you guys do trade gold, I don't. But look how this nailed the cycle bottoms right before 2016. Uh, the top, this is that 20-day cycle he was mentioning. And then the bottom again. Uh, and there's example after example in here. So, you, you know, so that you can really be sure, hey, hey this works. You, you know, you, everyone needs that confidence. Uh, not somebody just telling us it works, but it'd be like, okay. Um, Actually, I'm... Brett, on that on that uh, gold lesson, I believe is lesson five. At the end of that lesson, I demonstrate live, just walk you, just put it all together, and I go, okay, here's what I think happens next. And gold was trading at 1930 or something like that back then. And I said, based on all the cycles, it is about to break 2000 uh, convincingly for the first time in history. Probably going to search to all time highs. My target for that is 3000. I actually. It's funny, funny story. I actually recorded that lesson days, days after I put my own gold positions, my own, my, I opened my own longs on gold. I'm still long um, gold. And then I, I had to do, it's just a coincidence. And then that was the week for recording the gold lesson. So I walk everybody through my thought process, kind of proud of that lesson because it's a public call, turns out to be exactly right. And as a cycles analyst, the harder calls are when you, overlay two or three cycles together and they all converge and they all say the same thing they all say pull the trigger now it's about the search that's what i did so that, nice. i'm quite proud of that nice good well um, and that's good to have uh, someone experienced with it to be able to answer these questions um i i'm gonna i know you answered some of these privately Juan, but um some people may not have seen the chat. David asks, uh, cycles for Solana and tier twos are the same as the Bitcoin cycle, yeah. question mark, yes. uh, and or just use those indicators for them. Maybe um, I see you replied, but maybe you could reply to that also. Absolutely. So uh, I demonstrated uh, this strategy on Bitcoin, uh, but it works on every crypto asset. Basically, there's something called the principle of um, commonality, which in the, in the, in the course or in, in, in cycles, it basically states that asset classes share the cycles. So anything that works on Bitcoin works on every crypto asset. That's basic nominality and commonality. There you go. I put them together because basically the same thing. Um, so yeah, anything that I demonstrated on, on, on Bitcoin will work on Solana. It will work on Ethereum. Uh, there's this whole uh, deep dive, this rabbit hole you can do, which is correlation analysis. I teach a little bit of that. That is the most advanced thing you can do as a cycles analyst is to compare how the cycle patterns are playing out to make forecasts on you know across across asset classes but yeah short answer yes it works on sol i use it all the time by the way the cycle model is uh, solana's a screaming buy on my cycle model today so just wanted to put that out there um 
streaming by. Okay, tell me why, because I just I think we're at a sell point because of overhead resistance. Um, I, I think long term it's bullish, but um, but now this is fascinating. So we have a little we, we can do a Kudlow and Kramer here. <laughs> so <laughs> oh, so um, the reason the reason why is because I mean if I can share my screen, I can show you guys. Yeah, um, let's you, do it. You tell me, Red. Okay, so I'll share my screen. Um, yep, there we go. And here we are, trading view. So here's a few more indicators that you're going to learn if you take the course. Uh, it's the trend line analysis. You can see that I have the same moving average here on Solana. Unlike Bitcoin, Solana has already on this filter, this lagging indicator, it's already confirmed the 80-day cycle low. What I like about Solana is that the early, the earliest we saw this low being hit is April 13. So it's one of the few assets that didn't actually make new lows. Uh, and I was watching this. This is the correlation analysis I was talking about. The crypto assets that bottomed out in April that didn't break that low, they're poised to be stronger when the bull market accelerates. There's two buy points on Solana. I personally got in at 150. This is on Sunday when I got the signal. It's slightly under 150. And the other one is today. It's these two trend lines. These two are tracking different cycles. One tracks the 80-day cycle. And the bigger one, let me delete this one. Uh, the green line tracks the the 16 month cycle. So technically today, if it closes here, I would say it needs to close. Uh, for this to be valid, I would say one seven. Let's just call it 170. Closes above 170 today, that is a buy signal on the 16 month cycle. So you have a buy signal on the 80 day cycle followed by a buy signal on the 16 month cycle. I don't want to contradict you, Brett. It could come down as the 80 day cycle tops out, but it it probably makes a higher low, rallies again. That's another entry opportunity. So, so, so this is one it, that I'm watching. It, this is fascinating, guys. So I'm going to share my screen because it's very similar to what Juan is showing here. Uh, and um, and this, but this is why having more confluence with these things uh, is is really uh, exciting here. I actually clicked the wrong button here. I almost left the meeting. Don't do that. Okay. So, but here's my um, Solana. And so because of that trend line and because what we have, we can see there's a lot of sell block order pressure above, I think it probably it rejects here or might pump up to this uh, sell block area. But but certainly I, I had already drawn this, that a pullback down to a higher low and then to push higher up in this range. So, I mean, I mean, there's no one magic bullet, of course, but if we, um, I'm going to player that on later when I um, learn it. And the twenty, uh, the, the cycle there, and just kind of see and watch that because because that's the missing element. You know, it's sort of that ethereal. Well, you know, our our indicators and in TA are good, but then there are those outliers where it's like, huh, I wonder why that happened. And um, I imagine that's probably um, cycle related. So um, you know, I think we we see are we're seeing the same thing, uh, and uh, and that's cool. So anyway. Just calling it as I see it. That trend line is super important for Solana. I would tend to think that if it is going to encounter resistance, it will do so before crossing the trend line. One of the things I teach in the course is sometimes with volatile crypto, with altcoins, you might want to wait one or two days for confirmation, which would be if you see this, all these sell blocks, as you call them, yeah, you can, you can give it a day to see how the market reacts. If you see it reacting, tries to rally and it fails, maybe you stay out, you stay your hand. Uh, I would have my stop losses below that April, uh, that April 13 low though, just below all that green zone. Mm -hmm. You need to violate that for me to get stopped out. So yeah. I don't think you do. Well, the better entry, like I said, was earlier in the week. This one's pretty good though. This one's still Well, good. I'll just raise my hand. I had buy limit orders in right at 125 and uh, 120 and got filled on those. So that was, um, I'm going to take some profits here, but you're right. It certainly could, if it breaks above that trend line, uh, into the sell block and normally it would come back and retest it as support and then could go higher. So I reserve the right to be wrong and guys will watch this. I'll be fascinated to see if it does break up and, uh, and whether it pulls back or not, because, um, that will be further indication that the, uh, the cycles, um, um, are running the um, kind of the behind the scenes. So fascinating, isn't it? Let's see. Any other questions, you guys? Um, yeah, one that I want to take here uh, is David. Um, he asked if the 16 month cycle has stopped out. Does that mean that BTC is not going to go into a new high? No, absolutely it will. Uh, every bull market, it, which is a four year cycle, it's made up of several of these 16 month cycles. The top was in March. 
uh, in a normal four-year cycle, we would expect uh, yet a higher high, it would be above 100,000 before you even start talking about a bull market top. There's a lot of people out there with this left translated cycle theory, which would mean for uh, for me as a cycles analyst, it would mean we have the top in the next 16 month wave. So it will be sometime this year. Uh, I tend to think that we're gonna have two more bullish 16 month cycles simply because that's what we've always had in, in crypto. Even though the last cycle was kind of stunted, it's a double top on the 16 month wave. Uh, but yeah, no, the, no way the top is in. It was not in March. I would be shocked if it was, if March was the um, bull market top simply because while the 16 month cycle topped out in March, it's about to bottom and it's about to turn up. And the four year cycle has always been up all this time. So you can see the way that plays out is you have these flattish corrections on the 16 month wave. Because when the four year turns up and the 16 month turn up, when both, sorry, when they turn down, big crash. You have a big crash, big correction. What, what, when, when is that going to be, by the way? <laughs> so on the typical four year cycle, and I'm sure most people have heard this before, um, it would be sometime between June and October 2025. This is a normal cycle. Now, I am warming up to the idea of the left translated cycle, but I, Fred, you and I have talked about this before. I believe it when I see it. I think, I believe that's what I told you. It's like, yeah, I don't, I'm not saying it can't happen. It never has, ever. So I'll believe it when I see it. We'll know it because if the next wave, Bitcoin goes straight up to the upside, it goes parabolic, then yes, it may be a left translated cycle, which means you're about maybe at most six months away from. But again, this is not my base case. My base case is another huge rally, another sell-off like we've just seen between March and July, and then that's it. That's the end. Another rally after that, and then that's that's the end. Yeah. Somebody asked also if they were setting up a bull flag, and uh, yeah, we, yeah, we have been watching that and talking about that, and uh, at some point, um, that's what it looks like. I, I believe so. Yeah, and uh, that the measured move on that puts us up around 150k Bitcoin, and and right around 158 160 which which is one of my targets anyway so you know um and but left translated that would be into that would be sooner than later potentially and that would be the left translated but i'm hoping it's the drawn out four year cycle and then we go higher and then it stays intact you know but um i guess a lot can happen uh you know certain people are talking about making uh, crypto bitcoin the reserve the newest news was that we're not going to talk politics here, guys. Just uh, we don't cause any uh, <laughs> uh, virtual fist fights. But um, um, the Trump camp, Trump saying that something about um, putting a reserve, Bitcoin reserve, as um, part of the the U.S. Uh, I'm getting the language wrong, but it's part of the reserve currency. So uh, you know, it's a lot of it's politics, and uh, we'll see what happens. But I, you know, I say it. I always say, show me the chart. I'll tell you the news. Uh, one of the things that we'll be adding to my charts is the cycle theory once I get a handle on it and we'll be using uh, more of that. So anyway, I look forward to going through it all. And um, I think um, the feedback is good from what I can see. And we'll see more people learning this as well. And and that's that's one of the hidden benefits of that signal group, you guys. Because I know a couple of you are going to dive into this head first and you're going to be in the signal chat going, hey, uh, I'm seeing uh, a cycle low here. And then Juan might say, you're right. So we'll all benefit from that uh, for, if you're in the group. Let's see. Yeah, I, I look forward to seeing people in that group, actually. That's going to be fun. Exchanging ideas, feedback for how to improve the course. Brent, you just mentioned we're going to keep adding things to it. Absolutely, that's the plan. But we need the real world feedback from people who are actually taking the course to know which areas need need improving. But the idea is to expand to expand it further. Okay. Um, yeah, for sure. And uh, just going through the chat. Yeah, absolutely. And we've done that with every course. It always gets better. And, you know, then we raise the prices just to to be more in line with market um, and value. Not, you know, we never want to like gouge anybody. We're not charging $2,000, $5,000. There was this, um, you know, softwares, this seasonality software. I always used to laugh at the, the traders, um, conventions every year in new york city and uh and they would charge five grand for this thing and it wasn't very good and just but they made just year after year they were there anyway um the uh, freedom attendee thanks for the link to um the other version of zoom uh, zoom is, is isn't isn't terrible but it's not the best 
Uh, let's see, uh, link to the order page, uh, Freedom Attendee. Who, who is Freedom Attendee? Um, I don't know who that is. Uh, let's see, peeking behind the fabric of the math curtain that makes the market cycles. Yeah, oh, there you go. The Wizard of Oz uh, analogy. I'm a little behind on the chats here. Sam says, could you talk about how we could combine cycle theory with our indicators? Yeah, Sam, I mean, um, sure. I mean, just visually, let me not use that chart. Uh, I'll pull up a <clears throat> different chart where we just have our indicators on it. Uh, we're not here to talk about those, by the way. Let me find a better chart. Well, I mean, it, let's just say that we are our indicators. I'll turn on one of them. Uh, I can't actually on this chart. The, the short answer is they'd be able to have trading signals that overlay with a, um, a timing, a market cycle timing uh, version of that, right? So let's pull up like one that doesn't have a million lines on it. So if we pulled up one where we are, have like our ATR or, uh, and again, I'm not here to talk about our, our signals, but, but Sam's question is, you know, imagine if we had our early reversal indicator uh, and we're topping out over here, but we have a cycle, a likely cycle bottom low forecasted for over here. And that was just automatically put on you know, or you did your analysis and put it on, well, then we'd have a roadmap. So then we'd be like, all right, well, then I think probably price is going to come down, maybe balance, go like this and uh, and wiggle around and then do that. I mean, that that's w what remains to be seen. But seeing what Juan shared with us, I'm very curious to see the overlap of those uh, because it's uh, sort of like right brain, left brain. Working together accomplishes more. And so I, that's the best analogy I can make. But um, anyway, I think you guys probably get it. 20-day um, yeah. moving average, displace it forward 30 days. You can have it in there and see how it, it, it interplays with uh, with your tools. I would, I would definitely add it to my toolkit for everybody uh, who's still with us because it, it's, it's a powerful indicator for crypto. Very let's powerful. do one. Let's do one together, shall we? All right, let's do it together. Yeah, sure. All right. So I've got a uh, an SMA in here. I'm gonna make that a little bit wider, and we'll just do yeah. It. I always I always use thick blue lines for this one because I want to know what it's saying. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And then you just place it forward by thirty. So uh, actually, hang on a second. Uh, what? So when you say forward, is it? But it's not a nine length. It's a twenty length, isn't it? The twenty length, and then the offset is thirty. Minus 30 or forward 30? Forward 30 for the forward looking indicator. Minus 10 is for finding cycles in the past. That's this right. one. There you go. Okay. okay. So well, look, look you at see that. that my, it's my little yeah. hand arrow is just perfect. I, I guessed it. Look at that. <laughs> that would be a projection for the next stop. So it will be August 15 for the next stop. Um, ah, nice not stop. super accurate. I, I, I warned this in the course. I say it's not super accurate. You should be aware of where that projection is. Uh, the most important thing to me is that it's about it broke the blue line yesterday. That's a takeaway for me. If I can mm -hmm. if I can keep rallying from there, that's uh, a buy signal. Okay. I don't know what this is. Injected protocol. Mm -hmm. I would caution though that it's been making lower highs and lower lows on that cycle. You can see how every time the line is crossed, it falls to a new low. Mm -hmm. And and for that, sometimes you want to wait for a bigger cycle to turn. It just so happens that in this case. Um, you see the the upper blue line you have in there? That would be a 16-month cycle VTL on a, for a cycles analyst. And it's about to break that. So I would wait for a bit more upside on this. I would say 28 if it can hold it on a daily closing basis. And you're picking this thing as it makes, as it turns on a 16-month wave, which um, it is one of the most important cycles. If you time that one right, you get in right at the bottom. Uh, however, this is what's very important. Where is your stop loss? Because I think Brett, you and I have different um, um, what's the, time windows for our trades. Mm -hmm. This thing breaks that trend line; it's going to an all-time high. That's your trade. However, it could go; it could fall as low as I've seen. I'm looking at it here, about sixteen and a half. I would still hold on to that trade. So um, your risk on that trade is is quite high because it's an altcoin. So if you're willing to bet risk fifty percent, it just it's sizing. It comes down to sizing. Size it right, you wait, and um, and you just write it. Um, there's many entries. This one is a pretty good one. You can also wait for the current cycle to top out, which will be in August, and then buy that as it pulls back. 
uh, many ways to skin a cat, I guess. But the first entry for me would be a breaking of that upper channel. It just so happens to be a 16 month cycle VTL. It's an it's well, one of the most powerful well, indicators. But and that that's what I want to zone in on is is so we love parallel trade channels, but very they break. Wondering, well, why did it break this time? Maybe it's just market movement. But if 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 we can overlay, like you're saying, this is a 16 month cycle, and we can be like, uh, you know, knowing ahead of time that we may are high more highly likely to break that time. It's just you know, it's not 100, percent but it's just one more thing to say. Okay, this is where likely there'll be a turn. And um, so anyway, guys, without going into too much too much more detail, I mean, if you guys wanted to look at another coin. Um, I, I'm hearing that probably the the bigger main coins are going to be the more accurate and use those. We typically use Bitcoin as our North Star. What Bitcoin yeah. does, everything follows. So uh, would it be fair to say predominantly you would do cycle theory like on the major coins and then look for market turns around that? Or or even could we use total market cap? Because that's what I used to call the, the market top when it hit th $3 trillion, just based on the number. Oh. Total market cap. I actually got this from you, Brett. I, I'm starting to use total market cap. I like to use in this bull market. This changes on every bull on every four year cycle. In this cycle, I've noticed that the alts tend to run run ahead of Bitcoin. So I'm using total three, which excludes BTC and ETH. A good example of that is Solana. If you pull up the chart of Solana, it has looked more bullish than ETH or BTC because it made that early April 13 bottom, and it's been trading in a range since. So I tend to view it the other way now. I think the alts break up first. And I don't know if you remember this, but late 2023, late last year, the alts broke out first. Bitcoin followed, but the alts did it first. In fact, when Bitcoin was retesting that June 15 low at 25K, I, I just remember all these numbers. It was testing June 15, the June 15 low at 25K um, on September 11th. Solana was also falling into a low, but it was making a higher low. And that was an early indication that the low was already in. Because Solana, a bunch of others, Link was another one. I just remember the ones that I, the, the trades I took. And I took that to mean, I, that's actually a teacher in the course. This is a, a very common way of analyzing is which one is underperforming which, or which one is outperforming which. In this case, it tends to be the alts that run ahead of Bitcoin. So, yeah, I... Bottom line is I, I am kind of expecting the likes of Solana, maybe Injective, to break out ahead of, of Bitcoin, actually. Uh, I believe those more because the chart pattern looks just, it looks better for me. What I just said about Bitcoin breaking the low and then breaking the high, very unlikely. Well, Solana didn't do that at all. So Solana held support several times, tested it like five different times. If it breaks out now, it's a perfect, beautiful 16-month uh, cycle low pattern. And that's what I'm trading right now, personally. Well, don't get me wrong. I love I love Solana, and um, I love to trade it. I don't love, you know. Remember, I'm a crypto analyst too. I, yeah. I wrote an entire ratings model on it. I don't, I don't but, love Solana, but I think it's a great trading instrument. Let me jump back because I something you said, and I, I think most people are looking at this and and hopefully aren't too lost. Just going back to total market cap, and we'll look at total market cap three also. But so is it fair to say that on the, the the blue line on these inflection points, it's sort of inversely related. So this signified a top and this signified yeah. sort of a bottoming, this signified a bottoming. So this is signifying a top and you're saying around August 15th. Is, am I reading that right? Correct. Cool. Exactly right. Everyone got that? So it's kind of like... Well, it's a I, mirror, I call it a mirror image because when it bottoms, it should the market should top, and when it tops, the market should bottom. How do you invert? I forget how to do it. I can invert this chart so high is low and low is high. Did you ever do that with this? Yeah, I think you got to do a, what the way I do it is minus one times the ticker symbol and it inverts it. I don't remember if it works on Trading View or if it works on another charting software I used to use. I, I get confused, but I, yeah, try that minus one times total. That might work. There you go. And look at that. And Interesting. Inverted. So so we are now likely to push higher and around August 15th, as you said, might be a, a near-term top. Isn't that interesting? 
Yes, I keep warning this about this though. This is not a soup. The, the price forecasts, the time forecasts are not super accurate. I tend to use this more for the crossovers. Uh, but like I said, you should be aware of where those forecasts are because typically when you're in a range like this, they're very accurate. Um, I, yeah, I'm not going to get into why. It's just math. Sure. Yeah, well, and, and guys, like that's the point. There's a lot to learn with this, um, uh, you know, and the more you learn with it, like anything, it takes time to really understand it. And so um, I think we should go ahead and wrap up. But uh, I think you give some great flavor on this one. And, uh, you know, look, it's it's fun to have something that's new and exciting that isn't terribly complicated, like having to do Elliott Waves and everything. Although that was interesting that you kind of shared how to use Elliott Waves, uh, one. But uh, I've found they have not been very effective. Someone in the chat said they kind of lost their shirt trading Elliott Waves, uh, not hating on, on the Elliott Waves, just they're not really necessary. Uh, we're showing you how to use basic common sense TA trend channels and moving averages uh, along with the um, these cycles. Because if you're sitting there saying, well, my God, I'm not going to ever figure this out. No, we just did that together. <clears throat> and you can have this one chart. You could save this chart as our um, market cycles chart. So let me just do this. I'll make a copy of it. And then any signal, any symbol you put on it, will have the layout. Does that make sense? So let me make a copy of this because this is my sort of trading daily chart. And I'm going to say this is now my uh, trading um, cycles trading chart. Okay. And what we can do now, now this one's inverted, right? So I'll just name that was an inverted and you don't need to do that. I kind of like that idea, but um, if we were to not do an inverted one, I saved that one just like that. But if uh, uh, if I didn't want to do it as inverted, let me go back in here. Sorry, guys, I'm jumping all over the place. Uh, stay with me because this I have a point. There's a method to my madness here. So how do we get on Phantom <laughs> Coin? Um, I'll go back to let's see. I have a I have about probably 40, 50, 100 charts that I have saved as uh, by name. So I want to make sure I'm not overriding one. Trading daily chart copy. So this is the copy. There's the inverted one. So I can mess with this one. That's my point. Cool. So what we want to do there, I'll go back to um, uh, say ETH, for example. We're going to put that chart on there again. My point is once you have it on there, you can change the symbol to whatever you want and it'll show you the same things. And um, so... We move the average. Hey, repetition is the mother of all learning. So you guys get another chance to see me do this, and uh, with the uh, Grandmaster One here with us. So SMA. That's all we're gonna have on there. I'll go to the settings. We're gonna say a uh, twenty uh, on the chart, and then a minus thirty for a net negative. Is that right, Juan? No, it's minus ten. It's minus half. Is when you when you want to use the filter, yeah. which Fits. If you want it to fit, it's always half the half the length. It's See, I needed half the length. I needed to do it twice myself. But, so here's right. the thing, half though. The length. Now, wait. Why is it following exactly though? Did I do that right? No, yeah, it yeah, fits. Okay. It fits. But technically, somebody asked this question. It technically this is called a centered moving average, and I believe you can use that indicator in TradingView. I just find it easier to use a simple moving average and do the offset myself. Because uh, I, I I I turn them into FLDs, the projection, then back into the filter. I I, use, I I do this all the time, so I prefer to use a simple moving average. So so, but if I wanted the inverse to forecast that we would do positive ten, right? Right. In that case, no, you do the length times one point five. So it's thirty. Length is 20, one point, times 1 1.5 is 30. If you want to know where that comes from, is you take the filter, which has an offset of minus 10, and then you add half the cycle duration. Okay, so you're gonna, days. you're gonna confuse people now. So uh, I, I'm in it, I'm I'm watching, I'm a new, so I'm, guys, I'm with you, but uh, it's all in the course, that's the point. And so, um, but <laughs> no, here's- People in the chat get it. People in the chat get it. They've been, they've been asking me if that's the right setting, yes. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm being the pretend dummy just to make sure if you're out there and you're like, I don't get it, because I was on a webinar last night that I won't say who told me to go watch it, uh, who's here today, and I and I told him I said that was terrible, it was way too complicated and complex, 
And um, so I'm very um, cognizant of first time people hearing it uh, if it's new. So I, I'm, I'm not surprised many of you are getting it because we have smart uh, investors and traders. But uh, at any rate, um, this is how you would use it as sort of a forecasting like we were doing before with the inverted version. All this means is if this is rolling over here, that would indicate a market bottom near term. And as this is curving potentially forward, we would be looking for a possible top on ETH. Not not a total top, but like an inflection point around August 10th or August um, 15th, as one said. Just about 10th, 15th. You know, I would give it 10, five days plus minus where the forecast is. So if it's 15th, it would be August 10th through the 20th. That, that probably works. So what I'm going to do, and, um, you, you know, look, there's no guarantees on these things, but, uh, you know, we've shown a high probability. I'm going to put a thing there and just put a little comment and we'll see what happens. And if if it's right and uh, and you're not a member, we're going to blast a whole bunch of emails your way and say, hey, you missed it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, ETH uh, reversal. You know, that, that's just a reversal area. But regardless, you know, it's good to know where these areas are. So, but the point is, once you have it saved, and this chart is saved as trading, um, actually, let me rename this. You have a lot of settings this. in here, Brett. That's a lot of settings. What? Settings? You have a lot of settings on, on trading view. <clears throat> uh, settings or charts? Settings. Uh, charts? You call them charts? I don't actually use that. I just change up. Um, well, point is, here's my point, and then I'll unpack what you're trying to say, you're saying there, but basically once you have it saved as a, as a chart and you can always, you know, you have all these, if you want to go over, go back and load the layout called and it's searchable. So you could just say cycles and then say, here's my cycles trading chart, boom. And, uh, there it is. And uh, then you could say, all right, let me see what it says for uh, Bitcoin. And, um, Bitcoin's kind of saying the same thing. My point is you could always refer over to this along with everything else you are doing. This doesn't replace what you're doing and all the other stuff. It's just sort of good to know. Um, and is there a longer term cycle we should have on this chart also on the, like the 80 day, just to have an idea. Where so you, you can have, there is an intermediate cycle that I didn't touch on. I don't think it's just it's gonna add noise. The one I would have is the one for the uh, sixteen month cycle. It, sixteen month it comes out to about four hundred eighty days. So the moving average you want um, is one hundred and twenty days. That's four eighty divided by four. And then you want to displace that forward by one hundred and eighty days, which is one twenty times one point five. That's the other one that you want to have. Now, during a bull market, prices stay above that moving average. It's when they cross below it that you should worry. So, because it usually means it's the end of the bull. Uh, so that's why I have it. Go ahead, sorry. It, that's why I have it personally. I don't have it on all the time because it right now in Bitcoin, it, it's probably around the $40,000 levels. I don't need to see it all the time. But if you see a big correction, you want to know where that thing is. Because if it gets crossed, it probably the end well here's the deal everyone uh that is more than we have time to get into that is all covered in the course and uh that is um i'm gonna switch this over i know this is showing the wrong slide but um hey guys look uh by now you know if you want it or not um uh you know we look we'd love it in a perfect world everything would be free but uh you know one's put a tremendous amount of time into this and um and we have as well so we're here to support you we got the team here we've got myrene here everybody's here to make sure you're successful with this and so you have either three payments of 300 or uh, the one payment is 797 guys i think we're going to hit some big home runs in this bull cycle and great time to be learning it too you have a few weeks going into august to go through the course and i think we're going to come out of august swinging and uh, the next three months are going to be incredibly exciting in these markets and uh, this is uh, just an incredible tool to overlay to your uh, to your um, uh, arsenal. And I see some people saying I'll be joining. Thanks. And um, so thanks, everybody. Thanks for your time. If you're watching the replay, um, this is going to be up until Sunday night at midnight. And uh, then we're shutting it down. Uh, Mike and I are heading over to the Bitcoin conference. Sadly, Juan won't be able to make it this year. Uh, he's over, yeah. at, over over the pond there, the, the big pond. I I'm there next year. I promise. I'm there. <laughs> 
Well, I've been trying to get some of our students to come next year. You guys, you got to come out. It's how much fun is the Bitcoin conference one? And you got to come out. You know, we always go out to a dinner and uh, and talk shop. And that's how I learned. That's how I learned about this course and Juan's cycle work over tacos in Miami Beach and uh, uh, with uh, Max Wright. And um, you know, it's just a good time. So I hope to see you guys. And uh, it's not too late to book your ticket for Nashville, everyone, if you're stateside. But uh, uh, for next year, for sure. So. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thanks so much. Thank you, Juan. Uh, great job on this. And we look forward to uh, working on this together here. And um, enjoy your weekend, everybody. And uh, yeah, any questions, uh, let me know. <laughs> yeah, Free Freedom says maybe we'll all meet at a Liberland conference someday. <laughs> well, Lieberland. I have my Liberland Sign swagger. me up for that. <laughs> Yeah, well, the, the physical, physical, physically, Liberland is somewhere between Croatia and um, uh, and Serbia. And Serbia, um, yeah, 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 yeah. And the whole place flooded. Uh, I was, I'm friends with um, uh, the uh, Vin Vit, um, the president, and I was chatting with him, and he said, I said, I hadn't heard from you. And he said, yeah, well, he said Liberland flooded, <laughs> so <laughs> uh, it's not a destination spot, everybody, and uh, but it's it's a great concept. All right, everyone. Thanks so much, and uh, we'll talk to you again. Uh, talk to you again soon. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for joining. This was fun. Bye, everyone.